I'm Tarkan Turkson, I'm the CV90 Platform Director from BAE Systems Hagland. And welcome as well here at the uh, Tank Days, Slovakian Tank Days at the Trenchin region. And since it's Tank Days, I brought our medium weight tank. The biggest goal for this tank is to bring the same firepower as a main battle tank. We're looking at a 120 millimeter uh, barrel, um, but not having the heavy weight of a tank, which means you can bring the firepower to places where a main battle tank cannot come. Because main battle tank is too heavy. A main battle tank is very heavy. And uh, the heavy means you need special recovery vehicles. You need special bridge laying equipment. Your infrastructure needs to be able to carry those, those, those tanks and that weight. Uh, France and Germany are developing a modern ground combat system, uh, which will be ready in maybe 11, 15 years. Uh, the system means that they, uh, they are developing uh, vehicles in different weight categories. So they have tanks, they have lighter vehicles, they can uh, uh, cooperate with each other and uh, fulfill different missions. Is it the future of the army? It's not just the future. We are already doing it for a very long time. We have like 17 different variants on the, based on the CV90 platform. It's what you call a common based platform. So yes, it is the way to go because your maintenance crews, they don't need a different training because they're used to the CV90. And just like the IFV that the Slovak government purchased, the Mark IV, the CV90 Mark IV, the CV90 120 will have the same chassis. Uh, so the benefit is also to have uh, a common spare parts and logistics and so on. Exactly. And not only that, since we're in the same weight class, you don't need the additional bridge laying equipment or recovery vehicles or anything of that kind. Also, for a crew, the driver compartment is exactly identical, meaning you don't need to retrain drivers. The inside of the, of the CV90-120 we're working on now is the same principal layout as the IFV. So a crew will recognize everything from the start. It's just a different gun with different modes of operation. Uh, as far as I know, uh, the new variants of CV19-120 uh, will have uh, not only new gun, but also uh, uh, another crew members to operate uh, UAVs and so on. Exactly. So already this vehicle has seats in the back, additionally. And I will never let that go. And why don't we do that? Because if you're a tank commander and a tank gunner and the driver, if you're in the middle of a fight, you don't have time for other things. You're, you're occupied. So we have two additional operators in the rear. And they can be a spare gunner, a spare commander, or a spare driver. So you can sustain the battle much longer. But not only that, even in the future, you could operate UGVs, like you, some you see here. So unmanned ground vehicles. They can operate the drones. The new CV90-120 will be carrying two drone garages. And it's up to the customer if they are tethered or not.